The key nutrients electrolyte pills and ancestral minerals are two very popular supplements. Now I've taken each for several months at a time. Here's what I like, what I don't like, and which one I'll be taking going forward. Now, I've been on a ketogenic or a carnivore diet for several months, and I've taken both of these supplements, obviously not at the same time, but at different times. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about my experience. The first and most obvious is the significant difference in the amount of tablets you need to take. Now, if you're like me, you prefer to take tablets over powder. I don't like to have to worry about mixing something up or it not mixing well or tasting terrible. It's just easier to take a handful of tablets and move on with your day. But the ancestral supplements are up here. The recommended daily amount for the ancestral supplements is six tablets. This is quite a bit. They're large tablets. They're not overwhelming. They're not horse pills, but they're decent size. Now, the key nutrients, the recommended amount on the label is two tablets per day. Now, again, they're slightly smaller, but it's just easier to take two tablets versus six tablets, obviously. So let's take a look at what's actually in them. So the key nutrients has a pretty good array of different electrolytes. It has vitamin B6, calcium, phosphorus, magnesium, zinc, chloride, sodium, and potassium. That's a pretty good array. What I don't like about these is that for each of these different electrolytes, it's not very much of your daily value, pretty low. Now the ancestral minerals, again, same thing, it has less in it. It has magnesium, potassium, chloride, and sodium, but it has more in your daily value. And we'll compare those here in a minute. The other thing too is these ancestral minerals have wildflower bee pollen and Atlantic kelp. Now I'm sure someone out there knows exactly what's in those types of things that would make it positive for minerals. I don't really know much about bee pollen or kelp and I'm not really sure why it's in a mineral supplement, but either way, there it is. Now to take a look at these, obviously there's far more minerals in this one than there is in this one, but the potency is very different. For example, the magnesium in the ancestral supplements is 60%. The magnesium in the key nutrients is 12%. Potassium in ancestral is 4%. Potassium in the key supplements is 3%. The chloride is 51%. And the chloride in the key nutrients is 13%. And the sodium is 27%. And the sodium in this one is 5%. So you're getting a lot more for what you're taking with the ancestral minerals, but that kind of makes sense because you're taking six tablets versus two tablets. Now for me, I've taken both of these and I've taken both of them over extended periods of time. And the one that wins out for me without a doubt is the key nutrients electrolyte tabs. Number one, there's less of them that you have to take. Number two, you know exactly what's in it. The big selling point for me is it says zero calories, carbs, sugar, caffeine, cholesterol, gluten, dairy, soy trees, soy, tree nuts, or shellfish. I like that. I don't really know what's in Atlantic kelp or wild beef, wildflower bee pollen or why that would even be in there. I just like knowing that there's nothing in here other than what they tell you is on the label. That's something a lot of people I think are getting sick of. It is supplements that are full of fillers and garbage and sugar and things like that. And I'm not saying that's in this one, but here they make it very clear that there's nothing else in here than the electrolytes you signed up to take to begin with.